KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culber. Thanks for watching KX News. In tonight's top story, keeping necessities close to home. There could be new hope for North Dakota rural towns dealing with the loss or potential loss of its grocery store. KX News reporter Robert Sir went to one town hoping answers come sooner than later. Just 10 miles from the South Dakota border lies Hague, a town of fewer than 100 people. And those people rely on the town's grocery store, just like any other city across North Dakota. But the future of this town's grocery store, like so many others across the state, is currently on life support. We run out of people. Uh, a lot of my good shoppers are in the care center. Some, quite a few are up in the cemetery. The North Dakota Association of Rural Electric Cooperatives tells me nearly a half dozen stores across the state are up for sale, with nearly a dozen in what's considered a distressed state. One of those stores is here in Hague. It's managed in part owned by Karen Keller, and she tells me she's personally sacrificed by not cashing her paycheck to help the store out. It's because there is never enough money in the account to also cash my checks. I cash my coworkers, and she cashes her checks because she has a family and three growing kids and, you know, and I've been there where you need to, you know, but we've managed to survive without, but it would be nice to be able to have some of that money. The biggest issue facing small town groceries, bigger communities like Bismarck, because it's easy to travel and buy in bulk. Customers at the store I spoke with told me rural grocers are a must have, despite those bigger city stores. During the winter time, if we didn't have a store here and there's a big store out and you needed things, you're out of luck. This store here is a lifesaver when it comes to bad storms. You can't go nowhere. And if you have to, you can walk down to the store and get the things you need, you know, until they get the roads open, the trucks come in and stuff. So during the wintertime is the most important. But there might be some hope. The North Dakota Interim Commerce Committee will study how to improve the system that gets food to rural areas of the state. The study states that 15 percent of grocery stores in towns with less than 2,100 people have closed since 2013, and a considerable number of the state's population drives over 10 miles to reach a grocery store that offers fresh milk, bread, meats, fruits, and vegetables. It goes on to say that there is a strong negative correlation between the distance people drive for food and those people's health. Keller tells me she hasn't been able to order bread in a year and a half, so she has to get it from a store in Strasburg. Bimbo Bakery, actually, is what it was. They quit, but Strasburg store has been very kind and let us order through them. The only thing we have to go out and pick it up when it comes in on Monday morning. The study also plans on looking at ways help can come from the federal level. It could result in better purchasing and distribution. All things these small towns hope happen sooner than later. Reporting for KX News, I'm Robert Sir. A rural grocery store in Strasburg, not far from Hague, was up for sale recently, but was purchased by a group of owners and remains open. A